Okay, here's a look at another figure in my Headmasters collection. This is the original Generation 1 Mind Wipe. So here's a close-up look at the figure. This is really nice. Just want to appreciate uh, the simple design from uh, the late 80s. So look at the figure all around. Really nice for its time. And just show this uh, cool feature here real quick. He's uh, pretty strong. So that's a quick look at the Generation 1 Mind Wipe. And now let's uh, just take a comparison with the animation model so you can see where they base the character design off of so that looks nice and now let's um, take a look at what it comes with the original toy came with a text spec so here you can see and pause it if you want to read it which is really cool, his bio and his tech spec, which you need this decoder, <laughs> which is really nice. So let's see. Uh, he seems like an average guy, just maybe a little strong and has some strength. So that's cool. And let's uh, take a look at the instructions. That's something I like to do instead of making long videos doing transformation. So that's uh, the artwork from the 80s. This is uh, what it comes with. And then the uh, steps of transformation. So this, this figure I don't think was... Uh, really well thought out uh, transformation because I'll show you like in the bat mode it doesn't really sit very well but that's cool sticker accessories so that's a look at that and I guess should just maybe do some articulation I mean the hands just go up and down <laughs> there is a slight butterfly joint due to transformation so I think that's kind of cool no articulation with the hands legs they do just go up and down knees bend backwards foot just goes up from or down from transformation and the wings do articulate and he has a tail and this obviously opens up so not much articulation what do you expect for an old generation one figure but that's a quick look at the original generation one and now what i like to do is comparisons so after g1 there was the tr chug line and i think fans project did their version of a mind wipe and that just didn't look good to me so I passed and then there was the uh, uh, remake of the original characters the retail versions I think there was a Titans Return mind wipe which was really cool but I didn't get because I didn't want to collect season 4 characters and what was cool is uh, the Takata version, uh, the Takata Legends version of Mind Wipe looked uh, really, really good. I wanted to get it. And then there was the Walmart exclusive with that nice retro package. That really wanted me to get it, but I passed. And then there's the Masterpiece, which is done by fans toys and not much to say other than that looks like a really awesome figure 
um, I don't have it because like I said I'm not collecting season 4 characters I have the original so I'm content and then I think the legend scale there was the mech fans toys so mech fans toys and yeah, those are really nice to have small it's close enough and affordable playable um, but I passed so that's just a look at some of the other versions of mind wipe so now let's do a transformation and now we can take a look at mind wipe in his bat mode so uh, I don't know there's something cool about this maybe it's the whole nostalgia feel because it just brings back memories from when I first got this looks really cool let's get a close-up look at that head and appreciate the details with all the stickers that I still have the bat wing the legs I want to show this too because I didn't show it on the other on weird wolf but they do have a, a slot inside where you know you can have the headmaster so here's a close-up look at Vorath I think his name is so it's really cool simple articulation but this is still really cool nonetheless uh, having these little headmasters and so now let's just uh, compare this with the uh, animation model so you can see uh, not bad it's okay close enough so that's a quick look at uh, mind wipe in his bat mode so now back to transformation so now we have mind wipe back in robot mode and I just want to show one little feature here the headmaster gimmick this is really cool so you put it in and there's his specs so that's cool so that's another figure in my headmaster's collection this is a uh, generation one <laughs> mind one